I've got another silly build challenge idea, and I'm not really sure how this one's gonna turn out. I've attempted a couple things like this before, but the idea is to build a house, but each room gets one tile bigger. I don't really know what the, like, catchy punchline title will be, but essentially we start off with a one by one room, and then a two by two room, and then a three by three room, and we just keep going four by four, five by five, and then we try to fit all this together somehow into a reasonable house. This lot is kind of small, so I maybe shouldn't be doing this here, but I've basically arranged all of our rooms like puzzle pieces. So we've got one by one, two by two, all the way up to seven by seven. They didn't really fit nicely in a row because the lot is too small, but I tried to put like rainbow colors to help with the order. And I think the goal here is just to arrange these things together in a way that works as a house. Believe it or not, I actually think that the one by one and the seven by seven are going to be the two hardest things to use because this one's just a giant square. I feel like the three by by three, this yellow one could be a bathroom, maybe this orange two by two could be like a hallway, and we could always use the one by one as some sort of like closet, maybe we could put laundry in there, something like that. We're also obviously gonna need like a bedroom, <laughs> kitchen, living room, all of that stuff. So maybe the biggest space could be the living room, and then we could use the second biggest as like a kitchen? Or should the smaller one be the kitchen? I guess if the bigger one's the kitchen, we can have a dining table in there. Oh no, I don't really know how to do this. I feel like it's not fitting together as well as I had hoped it would. Okay, maybe these two rooms could both be bedrooms. We can have the bathroom here. Oh god, I'm trying to think of ways that I can organize this that might make for like an interesting shaped house. So what if we did it like this? What if the little orange space was the entry? I could probably- oh no, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> I forgot about this little tiny piece. We could do the entry in here, still have the bathroom there. Oh, I don't know where to put this weird little piece. Maybe the one by one could go... You know what? It being attached like over on this side might be interesting because we could maybe use it as like a closet off the bathroom. I think I'd prefer the three by three as the bathroom over the two by two, to be honest, just because then we can have a tub and everything. So if that two by two room becomes the entrance to the house, <laughs> maybe we could do like... Oh, you know what? Maybe I could put it over here instead. Dead. Wait, what if it was like, um, no. <laughs> I don't know where to put this stupid room. I'm kind of wondering if I could do like a wraparound porch sort of vibe. You know what? What if we did the wraparound porch thing? And I, no, that's horrible. Never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> don't go there. I could probably put it over here like this. Then it can still be a closet. Maybe that's fine. Let's try and roof this. I don't have good expectations. Yeah, that's annoying. So it would be easier to roof if it were like this, because I could do like one big long piece. But I think floor plan wise, this is a little bit better because now the door are like in the corner. I hate when the door is in the exact corner. So I kind of prefer this. Am I allowed to draw walls inside? If I don't attach it, can I still use it? Oh, look at that. The new growing together thing fits so nicely right there. Okay, well that part works. That fits. And then I guess maybe something like that would fit. Oh, this is just awful. Every time I do one of these build challenges, it just is horrible. <laughs> um, okay, I think that that's all right though. The roof being like that somehow. Maybe I could try and copy that over here too. There's a lot of lines happening on the back, which is not necessarily good. <laughs> it's, um, it sure is something. I moved the little red thing over here. I guess maybe the one by one tile could be still a closet or something if it's over in this area. It's gonna have to be because <laughs> I don't know what else it's gonna be. Do you know what? Now I'm kind of wondering if we could make this whole thing into the bathroom and then have the door here because we could do a front door there and then maybe we could do like the toilet in this room and then like, you know, the tub and shower and sink in here. That actually might work. I need to figure out how the roof's gonna be for this part. <laughs> Maybe I won't wrap it around and I'll just have it be here in the corner because I could even like extend this part out if I did that. Hold on, I might be onto something. I didn't even think about this, but what if we use this like a chimney? I feel like I should be allowed to use half walls so we can put a chimney there. This makes it kind of annoying, like the placement, <laughs> but we can try. How about this? We do some sort of side yard thing. There could be like a little patio back there, maybe. Somehow this is kind of working. I'm not really obsessed with the front of this house. Like if I'm being honest, it's kind of boring. Oh, now I'm also worried that I don't know where the living room stuff's gonna go. Like where does the TV go in here? I guess maybe on this wall. We could do a piano. That could be kind of nice. The purple is really not helping my case. It looks terrible in here. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll move this around then and we can have the patio be over here and what? Like a sliding glass? 
glass door. That's realistic. It's not that cute. <laughs> but it's realistic. I hate this, these two doors next to each other, but it's fine. We have to use it, nothing can be done. All right, now for the fun part where we actually like start making this into a house. <laughs> the hardest part is definitely trying to figure out the layout. I'm gonna try to do stuff like have a slightly different floor in the entryway and add these columns and like little walls just cause I feel like it might help with making the place feel like it's not just one big square. You know what, this is gonna be the kids room. Should we like honor the green <laughs> and have like a green theme in the room? This dinosaur rug could kind of work and I think that growing together has a pretty nice like new bed. I don't know what swatches are on this and like what is green, but honestly this might kind of match together. So we could try this bunk bed, maybe even the new desk. Oh, I kind of like that. I'm not gonna keep the walls, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll change the walls. I always feel like none of the greens are the kind of green that I want. I want like this green, but all of these are so blue toned and this one's just horrible. Like this is an awful color. That one has penguins. See, it's like so minty. Maybe this wallpaper could work. I wish that it had a baseboard, but ever since the pack came out, I've been making so many like baby rooms. I haven't really used a lot of the kids stuff. <laughs> this is my first time using this cow plant backpack in a room. We also have a little cow plant grow chart. So maybe I'll put that too. It's a a cow plant and dinosaur theme, I guess. It's so hard to use these new curtains because they're so big. Like that covers the entire window, which I guess in some cases might be nice, but I think in here it's kind of excessive. Oh, maybe I can move these over here. Okay, well, here's what I've got for the kids' room. I actually really like the color scheme in here. And I think it's kind of cute. The bathroom is the boring part, but I'm basically kind of thinking that we could do maybe a tub here in the corner. Oh, I guess this is harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. I don't know where to put the shower because I want this to be just the toilets. Maybe I'll do an archway instead of a door. I think that kind of makes sense. Although I guess if we did it like that, we could probably have the shower be in there too. And that leaves us space for decorations like this thing. When I said toilets, I meant because I was gonna put a little toddler potty, but I guess we don't have a toddler, so I don't need it. Okay, actually this kind of works for the bathroom. This is a really nice bathroom too, it's big. I never make bathrooms this big in this game. The kitchen, I was a little bit worried about layout wise because it feels a little bit bigger than I normally would do. Like I would usually put cabinets all through a whole corner, but I think that's like way too big. The table takes up a good amount of space in the middle of the room. It's more so like the corners that I don't really know what to do with. At least we can use all this new stuff. Actually, maybe I'll put this over here. It's so annoying getting new kitchen stuff because I really want to use it, but then like we don't have fully matching sets. Like there isn't a dishwasher that matches these two things. So if I wanted to use this really beautiful gold, well, sorry, <laughs> cause nothing matches. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna put a lot of windows in here cause I kind of like the extra light. It also helps with the wall being so big. Put some cabinets there on that wall. Oh, you know what? Maybe these bookshelves could be kind of nice. I love these new photo frames. They just work so well in so many places. Obviously I don't actually have any photos to put in there yet, but I think I'm gonna use those here on this wall. I'm liking this. I just don't really know what I wanna put here in this corner. Actually, here's an idea. Let's do pets. <laughs> we can pretend these Sims have a dog so they can have some pet bowls there. Oh. I don't have a trash can. Trash can inside and outside? Never mind. Maybe I'll do a trash can instead. Oh, I don't like how it looks though. The trash can really kind of ruins the vibes. Yeah, just put it in the corner. Maybe we can have a plant next to it or something. That's ugly. <laughs> I don't like it. Maybe I'll do a trash can and a pet bowl. Cause both those things are ugly, so they can just be ugly together. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, here's the kitchen and dining room. We have like some nice bookshelves, big kitchen counters, dining space. I think I'm also gonna struggle with the living room layout a little bit. So so I was kind of picturing that there would be a couch here. I sort of thought we could do like couch this way. Oh, maybe I could use the fireplace that came with the pack. We can try and use all the new stuff. I don't really care. Oh, we can put a little rocking chair. That's nice. I think one thing that I don't love about this is that there isn't really that much light in here because we just have this window and like this tiny window. <laughs> this thing's really kind of throwing me off. Oh, speaking of which, maybe I'll try and turn that 
into something. Oh, you know what? What if we turned that into like some sort of desk nook? Instead of doing like, you know, a laundry room or something, what if we tried to make it for a desk? Cause this city living one would fit in there. I just don't know if like it'll function properly. The lighting is definitely kind of weird, but it might be a cool way to find a use for this little corner. Oh, does the chair not slot? Oh, I don't know if it's gonna work. I could probably still do the archway thing, but like pick something else to go in there. I don't know. It could also just be open for the laundry instead. I know for a fact that this works. It's just more of a question of like, if we want laundry to just be like out in the open. I don't really care. No, don't like it. I wish this door was three tiles wide instead of two. There are bigger sliding glass doors, but like they're too big. <laughs> this is too much. I wish we had some sort of in-between. Why isn't there an in-between? Do you think that I could use the dream home decorator one, but like put, oh, the line. Why the line? In real life, sometimes sliding glass doors are like really wide. So do you think that tiling two of them together is bad? Before I forget also, I wanna get the thermostat and put it maybe over here in the hallway. So it's kind of tucked away, but it's still useful. I always put the thermostat by the bedroom doors in my builds. That's where it is in my real life house too. And this way, at least I know where I put it. Cause sometimes when I'm playing, I just lose it and I forget where I have it on the wall. So I try to follow some kind of pattern. I just had an idea that maybe this family does have a baby, but the baby doesn't have like a separate nursery. They like have a crib in the parents' room. So so I'm gonna decorate this little section in the corner to have a couple baby items, like maybe a couple little baby toys. I guess that now also gives me a reason to have a high chair in here. <laughs> So I can put a high chair in the kitchen and then somehow somewhere I can fit like a crib and the parents bed in here. I don't know where I'm gonna put a changing table. <laughs> I don't know if you need one. I think that it's okay if you don't have one. It being more of a family house is also like way more fun for us to put like some more cute little decor and stuff like these pictures. What are you supposed to put up here on top of the piano? I always wanted one of these stand up pianos and now I don't know how to decorate with it. <laughs> I feel like the corner of this room is kind of boring. Maybe I could get a chair over here. Oh, that helps. Okay, yeah, just like something else. I'm so sorry to admit that somehow I have built another blue Suburban. <laughs> Everything on the inside of this house is blue. It's like the fault of these rugs though, okay? All the rugs that I wanted to use were blue. It's not my fault. I tried to have it be not blue and yet here we are. Now I'm wondering like, perhaps do we do a changing table instead of a dresser for the adults? This is the thing. I'm not certain if like you can just change the babies like normal if you don't have a changing table. So I'm gonna put one just in case, but I am hopeful that it would be okay if you didn't have one. I'm just not sure. So I'm gonna put one and then we can pretend that it's the adult dresser too. The adults can also use it. Or actually maybe I could like sneak a dresser in the corner. Oh, well, that would probably work. This is nice. It actually feels very peaceful in here. Like it's a very calming color scheme. I think that's the whole interior done. And that leaves us with the outside to try and figure out. A little bit of landscaping goes a long way though. See, I put like two bushes and all of a sudden it looks like 10 times closer to being done. Okay, so here's kind of my plan for the backyard layout. I was picturing that we could have like a little patio space. And then obviously we have like a tiny bit of a deck off the house. Oh no, <laughs> I scooted this so far back it's clipping. Okay, I really want a tree house but I'm not sure if it's like too big. I mean, it does take up like the entire backyard. So it might be a little big. <laughs> it also makes this tree look ridiculous, but oh my God, I just did like half the exterior just to realize that I didn't finish this part. <laughs> I still haven't done the one by one room. I don't know what to put in the one by one room. I think I might go back to laundry. This was the original idea. It was the first plan. We can even put like some clutter on top of it. So it looks like a storage room. and then. I can just add in a hamper somewhere so that, you know, it actually makes sense. Oh, I don't know where to put the hamper. Please hold, I'm scooting that over. Okay, everything is in this parent's room. <laughs> they've got the baby, they've got the hamper, everything's in there. But I think that that's fine. The laundry makes sense. I also never put laundry in my builds, so maybe it's nice to have it for once. Yeah. Okay, let's just keep saying that. I wanna do some kind of simple landscaping. I think I like just the slight pink flowers and then we can add like a slight pink flower box, maybe. <laughs> I'm really avoiding doing the paint on this house because to be honest, I don't love the shape of the exterior. I think that I managed to make it look okay, but it's definitely not the best. We could probably paint it like a really nice, just simple creamy colored siding or something. Oh, cool. This is one of the only wallpapers that doesn't have matching shingles. <laughs> Cause why would it? That would just make too much sense. Why, why would I want something identical, you know? Okay. 
Thank you, game. <laughs> Terrain paint always helps, so we can get some of this around and then hopefully it'll look a little bit more finished. Oh, and maybe last I'll just get like a little board game table or something. I like this table because it almost looks like it could be like an outdoor dining table, but you can also play puzzles and stuff on it. Oh, I like that little backyard layout. Do you know what? This actually turned out really well, all things considered, because I feel like this floor plan could have been a lot worse. <laughs> With the weird little shapes and stuff, I think that we managed to make it fit together okay. It's actually got like a really reasonable amount of walking space through here. Like we have this kind of little fake hallway for the bedrooms. We have a huge bathroom. I also really like having the baby in the primary bedroom. I feel like that's super realistic as well. I do that a lot with my bassinets, but I haven't done it with like a real crib yet. Mostly just because I've been so excited about having the cribs now that I keep making separate nurseries, but it's kind of cute to have it in here. I think on that note though, I'm gonna stick this on the gallery. I never know what to call this challenge. Each room, different size. Like, I, I don't know. But it's a two bedroom, one bathroom house. So it's up there if you want to download it. It costs like 46,000, which isn't actually too bad, especially considering I wasn't trying to keep a budget. So <laughs> it's not that expensive. It, it's expensive for a relatively small house, but it's not that expensive. If you liked this video, I do a ton of build stuff here on my YouTube channel. So feel free to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I also do a ton of building over on my Twitch channel and that is live. So you can like actually hang out with us and chat real time while we're building. You could be like, oh my God, Kayla, why did you put that, you know, bathrobe there? Are they gonna be able to get through the door? And then I would say, yes, don't worry. They just walk right through it <laughs> or, or whatever, you know? So I'll link my Twitch down below too. My name's just Lil Simsy on Twitch. And I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody.